Hello there. Welcome back to Medicine for These Times. I'm Beth Weinstein. So good to have you here listening in. And just a quick reminder to please leave a review if you like this podcast and want to support it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So today I want to talk about the subject of AI or artificial intelligence. And if you would hire an AI to be your psychedelic space holder, would you want to work with an AI to facilitate your ceremony or serve you mushrooms or, gosh, uh, facilitate, let's say, Bufo with you? Wow. Um, what an image that brings to mind for those who've worked with any of these powerful medicines. Do you want a robot serving you medicine? I don't know. That is obviously not really what I'm going to talk about, but what has happened to me recently over the last few weeks, especially, including even today as I'm recording this, someone booked a group mastermind program discovery call with me. She is interested in joining, and we got on a call and talked about the program, and I answered any questions she might have. But one of the first things she said to me when she got on Zoom was, wow, it's really you. It's so good. You're a real person. Uh, that actually happens to me quite often. And I will say it has increased over the last few years, right? The last year, let's say. Um, I think it's because also there's a lot of coaches that don't actually coach in their programs. And there's a lot of uh, people that actually don't do their own discovery calls, which I will say last year I did not do my own discovery calls and it did not work well for me. I outsourced that. It didn't go well. But it's funny because this world that we live in has become already such a place where uh, we don't expect to have a real human on the other end. And I find this very fascinating because we're only at the very beginning stages of AI. And, you know, as a, what's his name, Mar Mark Andreessen said during an interview with Lex Friedman about artificial intelligence, mostly, uh, he said, it's going to become just like air. It'll be part of our lives, kind of how the internet is. We, you know, I grew up without the internet and here's the internet part of our lives to the point where I'm on there majority of the day, <laughs> maybe not the majority, but a huge part of the day, uh, at least four days a week. So what I wanted to talk about, um, something that inspired me to write about this and to do this episode was because there are some coaches out there and I know there's many, many of them that are touting AI to quickly grow your business. Like, join my program. I'll teach you all the AI tricks to grow your business. And look, I get it. Everybody wants to shortcut everything these days. We are literally living in a very lazy society where everybody, as I call it, wants the Amazon Prime effect. They just want things delivered yesterday or today, instantly, instant gratification. And now that they're touting AI will just grow your business because now you can have this robot or chat GPT or whatever it is, write all your content in two minutes and create your reels and write all your social media and even write your sales pages and everything else you're going to put out there on the internet. And why not? You know, this is, there's some people in the world out there who I get it, maybe they want to help people make a difference in the world, but they also just want to get rich quick. And there's nothing wrong with that. I get it. It's a common thing out there, especially as people enter into the coaching industry and the psychedelic space where they think, this is the next big trend. I've done a few psychedelics. Let me just jump in and get rich quick because this is such an easy way to make money. And I see everybody making money and facilitators are charging $2,500. So I can too. And I'm just going to be really real with you. And I wrote an email about this a few weeks back about being a real organic human being and how much, actually, no, it started with, um, I, I'm sorry, it started with an Instagram live about being a real human. And then it turned into an email and now it's turning into this podcast episode because I actually, I'm excited for all these people to use AI to take over their business because guess what? Those of us that are really tuning into our real selves and bringing our truth and authenticity and our realness out there are actually going to do much better than the people that are using formulaic AI content and scripts and things that don't even sound like them to write their content 
or create their, um, you know, video scripts or whatever it is. So I just like to point this out because I want to be able to go back to this episode in three or four years and say, hey, I wonder, you know, I told you, told you so. Just kidding. That's not why. But really, it's to bring up this, this point around authenticity and realness and what is going to make you stand out as we get into this place of AI becoming like air and everybody using it. And by the way, if you don't understand how AI works or you haven't played around with it, you will see, and I know because I've tried and I usually end up spending more time just revising everything that the AI writes anyways, you know, the writing and the content that you get from AI currently, it's not in your voice. It doesn't sound like you. Even when I've prompted it to please write this in my exact tone that I'm giving you, you know, sometimes I'll give it an entire email or whatever it is and I'll ask it to rewrite it or kind of edit it and it edits it terribly and it never sounds like me. And then it's like, it's kind of like double the work. I usually have to go back and rewrite the whole damn thing anyway. So I've just chosen to not really use it. I've used it for little things like organizing some blog posts or um, coming up with maybe like ideas for something. But I will be honest, everything it's turned out for me has been pretty, um, what's the word, like flat, like dry. Um, not to say boring, but it's flat. And here's the thing. Here is the thing. <laughs> I love saying that. One of my former clients is like, that's that's your word, Beth. That's your phrase. But I do believe as more and more people are becoming sensitive and attuned to energy and our resonation and our fields, they can also sense when your content is written by something that is not actually coming from a human heart. And here's the thing. I believe all is spirit. And on some level, I do believe AI has to be spirit too. It's kind of hard to digest that, but it is, but it doesn't have your human heart resonation in what it's doing for you. So this is where I'm excited to really be one of the few authentic people left out there because I, I'm committed to being authentically myself and always running a business centered from my heart first and foremost before anything else. And this is where I've seen businesses really grow and take off is when you're really dropped in to your open heart and you're really in that field of resonation along with the certain kinds of strategies and art forms and communication and understanding of who your ideal client is and how to effectively speak to them so that they want to say yes to what you what it is that you offer. And if you can't do that first and foremost from your own heart, how are you going to know what to even say and how to work with this AI. Then next thing you know, if you only start your business using AI content, you're never going to have your heart in it. And you're probably going to wonder why you're either not getting ideal clients or not getting clients at all, or something's going to feel off. And I do believe as you work with people who are sensitive to energy, um, you're working with people's souls, their tra hearts, their traumas, their, um, their ancestors, their energy fields, because if you are looking to work in the psychedelic space or some kind of healing space or transformational space, this is deep work that you're doing. And people are going to feel if you're real or if you're not real. I cannot tell you the amount of times that people say to me, wow, I really just vibe with you or you're so authentic and I can really feel you and I feel your energy and I feel your passion and I feel how much you care. And I know it's because it's true. It's really dropped in from this embodied place of doing what comes naturally through my heart. You know, even right now, I, I, I'm very attuned to this because it's now been years. I can tell when it's me, like when speaking is coming through me versus me speaking. It's, you know, I hate to even use the word channeling because I don't like to use that word for me, but I know it's my channel open and it's just what comes pouring out of my heart. It feels like an energetic activation. And people that are in my field and on my live workshops or in my coaching containers or even reading my emails and very often here on my podcasts, they can feel this. But if it's just AI doing all that for you and you're churning out just some generic content that is being pulled from other 
parts of the internet that's already been written by other people, it's just going to start to sound flat. It's not going to feel you. It's not going to feel anything to anyone. So that's what I observe right now. I don't know how this will change. I do believe, you know, this is going to get very sophisticated and maybe down the road we will have AI that's unique to you. I mean, there's already been talk of this, is that it becomes this extension of you as a human, which is kind of freaky because that's like, again, um, you know, it's not really you and your organic human body embodied here on earth. This is kind of a transhumanism, which, you know, is a whole other argument. And I'm not one here to say what's right or wrong. I just like to give this other perspective to have you start to think about the shortcutting your business versus doing the deep work to really get it to a place that it supports you. And I say this to my clients all the time. There's no magic pill. There's no magic bullet. I will say if you get a coach and join a program like mine, like in my mastermind or my private coaching, and you are walked through all the steps to grow your business, it makes things much faster and much easier and much more clear so that then your time and energy is freed up to be operating in your zone of genius, which is helping clients, which is creating heart-centered content, which is getting out there in the world, which is showing up as a leader, creating your own community, you know, however it is you want to show up. But if you're just trying to shortcut your way through and take these little like fast magic bullet, get rich quick schemes to hopefully make a quick buck, I will tell you right now, I've seen it so often that people end up getting, um, you know, disappointed by their lack of results or feeling super burnout or getting completely misaligned business in place. I've seen that too, where it's like, they're getting crappy clients or clients that don't take them seriously or clients that are completely misaligned for their kind of business and they start to wonder why. And this is what the difference is. I, I'll never forget, I had a client back in 2020. He, <laughs> I walked him through our first process that I teach you and he actually said, well, why can't I just copy this from other people's websites? Meaning like he was just looking at other purpose coaches to see how purpose coaches worded their business. And I was like, oh, wow, you just want to copy someone else's stuff and then hope that it works for you. You know, and I explained to him how this kind of business really works. It's not about, yeah, take it from some coach out there who maybe looks like they're successful, even though you don't know if they're successful or not. Just because they have some images of them looking faux successful does not necessarily mean they're doing well. By the way, you can actually go do photo shoots on private jets for a fee because we all know there's some coaches out there that do that. They fake whole entire backgrounds with like luxury cars and private jets to just make them look like they're making multi-millions. It's ridiculous. And that, you know, let's get honest. Do you really want to be part of that bullshit world? I don't. I am here to be part of the organic earth world of embodied business, of authentic business, of service-based business that is not run on ego, that's all about get rich quick and have private jets by cutting all the corners with AI and magic bullets. So, and again, there's nothing wrong with using AI as some form of, um, you know, enhancer or tool for your business. Of course, I think I'm 99.999% sure my podcast producer uses AI to write my show notes and then goes back and edits it. That is fine. Totally acceptable. Um, the girl who helps me with my blog posts, also, I'm 99.9% .9 sure uses AI to do the headings of our blog posts. This is a very simple thing, you know, and it's actually whatever it is, is doing a good job. I will say this. I always have to go back and edit and refine it a lot. So, but it's still a lot easier than me writing the whole entire thing. So there are certain places where it's a fit, but generally this business is about the long, the long haul, the long sustainable game of your business. So I always tell people my group mastermind program and my private coaching is centered around building a long-term sustainable business. And I always use this, uh, my arm going up in the air in the shape of an up, upward incline, like going up a mountain. And if you just continue to show up and be consistent in your business with the steps that I teach you, it will continuously grow. 
One of the reasons people have major downturns in their business or lulls for a longer period of time is that they do not stay consistent with the steps that I teach them. Or they maybe just get down and feel bad and then they just don't show up or there's something in the way that they're not doing the deeper work on or they make up excuses or whatever it is. But the reality is if you want a successful business that continues to grow year after year after year and show up out there in the world as a leader, as an expert, as someone who people trust, that people want to turn to and look to, then you know, it's it's the long haul. It's not the get rich quick, make some content and use AI and churn a bunch of BS out there. It's about really getting embodied and in your heart and in your soul and showing up from this place of why, what it is you want to do, what is your mission, what are you called to, and really showing up out there in the world and sharing your unique medicine and continuing to do this over and over and over with consistent heart and soul. And of course, there's going to be bad days. I always have days that I'm off or I'm just like, I don't feel like doing much or there's a day where I can't record solo episodes like this. But, you know, generally when you're working with a business from inspired action where you love what you do, where you're lit up by it, where your heart is full on in it and it feels in alignment with your authentic truth and your soul and your heart and your voice, then it actually becomes very easy to show up consistently from the place of being an authentic human being embodied here on planet Earth versus just using some AI and hoping that it shortcuts you to riches. So I wanted to talk about this because um, there are some people out there just touting like, buy my program, I'll teach you everything about shortcutting your way to riches with AI. And then I saw someone in the psychedelic space doing this and I was like, oh my God, what what are they talking about? Um, Because... I do believe as you, as a psychedelic pioneer working in the psychedelic space or a space holder or a psychedelic integration coach or a psychedelic assisted healer or a therapist or some kind of psychedelic informed coach, healer, guide, therapist, whatever it is, you know, you're, you're doing work on a different level here. You're not just selling something like, uh, you know, a $99 course on how to manifest or a little program on how to, I don't know, write the best Facebook ads or um, how to, I always use this as an example, how to improve your sex life. You know, it's, you're dealing with people's psyches and souls and traumas and hearts and energies and going into their ancestors and you know you're doing deep work in the psychedelic space whether whether you believe it or not whether you know it or not and this is something you have to really take into account that it's not going to be just about spewing out some generic content hoping that someone randomly lands on your Instagram post and then wants to pay you uh you know four to five figures to work with you as a coach it goes much deeper than that and if you're interested in building a real authentic earth-centered, embodied business that is really about your authentic truth and your heart and your soul, then I am the right coach for you and my programs would be great for you. If you're looking for the quickest get-rich-quick BS way to just make a quick buck off the psychedelic space, I really wish you a lot of luck and I would love to know how that works for you. I'm not kidding. I'm Maybe I'm completely wrong about my theory, but I have had complete crystal clear visions about this for many, many years. And they just keep getting more and more clear about, oh, well, as the world turns to more AI and more content and more social media and more videos and more writing and just so much information coming at us from all directions, this is my theory. I cannot wait to say I told you so in five years, 10 years, or even three years or one year. I feel like what is actually going to happen is people's nervous systems are going to be so overwhelmed with all the information and the content and everything coming at them that they're actually just going to want something more simple and slowed down and embodied and down to earth and almost quiet. 
because that is the world that we're going to crave as more and more of this is just frying our nervous systems. And we will see what happens. You know, I don't want your nervous system to be fried, but this, I, I'm hearing it more and more that people are just like, ugh, you know, like it's too much. They they don't like how they feel. They want to take a break. They can't be on social media. They can't consume all this content. And I do believe we're going to need more and more coaches and healers and space holders to actually be the polar opposite of what we're seeing out there in the world right now. And we will see. Um, but that is my prediction. And I thank you so much for listening to me and reach out if you need anything or have any questions, or if you want to explore joining the group mastermind program, the doors are still open and there is still time to join. And I hope to see you there. Thanks for listening.